Hi, hello. This is Anup here. And in this video, what we are going to see is the new features of Configuration Manager 2111. Okay, so that is what we are going to see today in this video. Okay, so let's dive into it. I have already upgraded to 2111 Configuration Manager Protection version. Now I can check the features from the administrators and if you if i go to features over here you would be able to see two interesting things right uh, that is pretty much amazing at least for me right orchestration group is not a pre-release feature now it is it is fully developed and and the other thing is application groups right so application groups is also a fully released feature now and it came out of pre-release feature that's that's pretty nice right so we have blogs about application group how to create application group how to use application groups right as well as orchestration group right how to use it etc etc right what about pre script and post script etc all those details are available in sdmd community blog posts please refer to that and i will try to link those posts in into the description of the video okay so the only pre release feature of 2111 version of configuration manager is task sequence debugger task sequence as an application model deployment type. These are the two. Apart from that, everything is released, fully featured, okay, from a product team's perspective. So if you want any additional feature into all these already released features, you can use the new feedback, Microsoft feedback portal to give product team feedback about that or else what you can do is you can see over here you can send smile send a smile you can send us frown if you don't like any feature or if you do if you are if you find a bug or something like that right um so that is that is pretty interesting right so you with this you can directly interact with your uh, with microsoft product team who develops configuration manager okay so now let's get into the fun stuff discovering the new features so i'm going to go to software library and uh, probably going to start with a task sequence right and in task sequence if i open up the edit task sequence and if i go to add and if i add a general check readiness you would be able to see something over here uh, that is tpm 2.0 or above enabled so this check is included in the check readiness step of the task sequence so that is that is very good for windows 11 deployments and probably for the in place upgrades etc etc right so do check it do check this out and try to use this so this is the first feature um, i introduced in the list of features of 2111 version of configuration manager okay let's go to the next one so that is going to be related to automatic deployment rules okay in automatic deployment rules if you if you go to properties okay and while you build, build creating a adr rule in configuration manager you can do the same thing okay go to software updates and check this out date released revised option over here click on that and you will have and a good number of additional options over here. That is pretty nice, right? 
at least it is it is useful i think from my perspective okay so don't forget to check these out older than 1 year older than 30 days older than 6 months older than 60 days older than 90 days so these are the options available additional options new options added to adr so i don't want to miss this so that is why i wanted to highlight this feature okay as the second one in my list okay okay so now let's go ahead and check what does the next feature okay now go to assets and complaints i am going to assets and complaints no now let's go back to administration and check the client settings and there are some interesting features new features available uh, available over there right interesting options i would say right if i double click on the default client settings to open the configuration page of that client setting you can see over here in software updates okay software update one thing is kind of added here that is enable update notification from microsoft 365 apps so this is the additional option added to software updates group of settings in within the client settings okay so you have an option to select yes and the default option is no okay so this is another interesting thing and this is the third one i shared um, as a new feature uh, in configuration manager 2111 okay now let's move ahead and check software sender is there any feature which i am excited in software center yes <laughs> okay so let's see go to customization and see over here select a logo for notification that is the newest feature available with the software center okay and you can see the end result i have already uploaded a logo and yeah that's good so let's see go to browse and let's go to pictures and try to upload a one over here okay so that is giving me a bit height kind of error because it says please select a logo with equal dimensions so that means the width and height should be same okay uh, so that is why the current logo which i selected is not able to get updated in this ui and a hint is already here but it didn't mention anything about the dimensions of the picture but it mentions about the size of the picture okay size of the logo it this maximum size allowed is 2 megabytes right okay now that was the fourth feature which i introduced to you as part of ssem 2111 okay now let's move on now we are going to stay in the administration workspace itself and i'm going to go over boundaries to show another the interesting feature right that would be our fifth feature of SCM or configuration manager 2111 okay let's go over here in the vpn boundary type and click on that check there is there is an interesting option over here start with okay <laughs> so that's that's a good option i i think we can we can play around with it and probably we can filter out uh, dynamically select some vpn connections basically not ip addresses but connections right so this is this is very very interesting and uh, you have the same option for connection name as well as for the connection description right so 
the VPN boundary is going dynamic now. Now people are going back to offices, started going back to offices, at least um, from India context, right? Uh, so probably this would be useful in that kind of a scenario, okay? So I have already shared six. So I have already shared a lot of features, new features, which which got introduced into Configuration Manager 2111. Now there are so many other features. Those are like implicit uninstall is possible for user collection also now. Okay, as you can see over here. Okay, that's that's good, right? User collection, it is it is possible for user collection also. Previously, it was only available for the device collection. So that's that's pretty nice. And Microsoft introduced approval for orchestration group. Uh, that is also a great thing, I would say. Right? Server patching is critical, and I think approval is necessary in uh, some time, right? for at least for some organizations, right? Improvements in uh, cloud management gateway, et cetera, et cetera, right? External notification and uh, you know about prerequisite checks, which I mentioned about uh, in the previous video, 2111 upgrade scenario, right? You need to make sure that you have the proper version of supported version of .NET, otherwise the prerequisite check is going to fail. Okay, so improvements in boundary we have already talked about. Now, there are improvements in the dashboard, right? This is client health dashboard. So there are improvements over there also that you can check out if you want, okay? And software center notification we have already mentioned. Um, TPM 2.0, that is also mentioned. Windows servicing. Okay, so Microsoft added Windows 11 feature dashboard, additional one more box in the dashboard of Windows servicing. That is there now, okay, with 2111 version of Configuration Manager. That's cool. Now, it, okay, so this is something already there for 2107 version. Now, there are additional enhancements added to this custom properties for device in the console. Export to CSV, that is another, another feature which Microsoft introduced in this version, that is 2111 version of Configuration Manager. Import console extension wizard, that is another one, that another feature that is going to help the community, right? You no longer need to use PowerShell script to in import. Yeah, this is this is also nice. Require installation of a console extension, product feedback, wizard, and property dialog. So <clears throat> I already mentioned send smile option, send a smile option. So this is about that. Additional Power BI reports, client status, Content status or content status, <laughs> Microsoft Edge management, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right, and console improvements. I, I think this is this is great. Right, um, more and more configuration manager is getting integrated, closely working with ISVs, and providing this kind of solution. New command line options have been added to support center data collection client tool. Right, that that's pretty nice and software support center log file viewer and one trace has have some additional enhancements or improvements and quickly i want to share the de deprecated features as well so these are the deprecated features as per microsoft these features are not going out of support now but they are announcing it in advance so that the IT folks or the organizations will be ready by the time they actually remove the support of these features. Right. 
So asset intelligence is a big one. <laughs> And on-premises MDM, I don't know how many of you are using it. I have never seen this. And yeah, this is this is because of the larger ecosystem change at Microsoft Store for Business. Okay, more more information on all these things will be available later point of the time, right? Okay, it clearly says it's for the future. This is just an announcement of depre deprecated features. Okay, so hopefully this feature video was helpful. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.